Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. As always, my name is Daniel Knott, and I'm happy that you're here today. In today's video, I will show you a new update of Tricentis. And the update or the product launch that I'm that I will going to talk about is called Tricentis Test Automation, or in short, TTA. So let's take a look what this is all about and why I think this is a really cool product that we should know in the testing community. So let's take a look at the product launch page before we go into the details. So as you can see here, it says, um, Tricentis test automation accelerate application and process quality. quality. And uh, the cool thing about this, so for those of you who know Tricentis and Tricentis Tosca is that um, it was like always like an in, in, um, installed based application. So nothing that was running on a, on, a, on a cloud application, so to say. And TTA is now finally a cloud based low code test automation tool for web applications. Yeah, so you can build complex test cases and reuse and share them across your team members, which at least um, what they have written here on, on the product page. And in, in a few seconds, we will take a look on all the features that uh, is coming with that release. So as it says here, uh, test cloud, uh, test your cloud apps where they live uh, with Tricentis test automation, the market leading model based testing approach. So they use a model based testing approach in order to um, create um, objects on a web from a web application in order to reuse them among your test automation scripts and in order to make them available for other team members. And they, they also say like why SIS now? So in a word collaboration. So they decided that it's, it's better for them to go into the cloud and to in a cloud-based application for people working distributed among different time zones, among different offices and among other situations. So it's better for team collaboration and also to, of course, to accelerate the automation process. So um, the release is basically optimized for web application testing in a browser. And they're the main or the, like one of the main features that they use is like this approach of model based testing. And with model based testing, they would like to decouple the technical layer of an application um, from the automation model. So to simplify the creation and the improving, improving of the resilience of uh, maintenance of test automation scripts. Yeah? So they use building blocks for creating test automations. And those building blocks, we will take a, a look in a very in a, in a few seconds, like an enhance on approach as always, uh, because I like to show you new product releases and updates. Yeah? Um, what else? So they, as I said, they increase also the environment testability and some more. And the cool thing is about the new update as well is the so-called API. Uh, simulations, which I will also give you a glimpse of in, in this video and maybe in upcoming videos, I will go in, in more depth in, into that direction as well. And last but not least, you see like uh, also the key benefits of Tricentis test automation. It's onboarding is quickly, collaboration on quality, the scaling, the testing, secure and to orchestrate the execution. And of course, reducing the cost because you can reuse um, the patterns that you already recorded, but also the things in terms of you can test API services uh, with a test automation and reduce cost of cloud-based applications. And of course, here are um, all the features um, described as well. So this is the product launch page. Uh, so the real cool thing about uh, to transcend this test automation is that you can actually have a 30 days trial mode. So as you can see here, there's trials and demos and I open up the page. So in order you would like to try out the new, um, the new product, you fill out the form, request a trial and you get forwarded to the uh, installation instruction. And also you, of course, you get access to the cloud-based um, test automation solution provided by Tricentis. It takes a couple of seconds. I have done it myself. And um, yeah, so then you can jump right into the, the uh, model-based testing approach and also to see how easy it is to actually create modules of your web application and to use the builder to actually build your test cases. Um, before we jump right into the um, 
hands-on approach before I guide you through the through the interface I will quickly mention also the uh, Tricentis Help Center for test automation because I think it's it's really great because when I when I got access to the to the system I also take took a quick look on the on the on the documentation uh, documentation of course and it's really well described so you have this getting started menu you have the the, set, uh, the, the section of setting up your machine and you have the last point here is to create a test case and it's fairly easy to do so it just takes a few seconds or not seconds but minutes uh, until you can actually start writing your first test cases um, for your product so we will not go through all the things here i will make sure that every link that i mention right now is also down in the video description for you to follow up on so after you you signed up uh, as i mentioned before on the oops on the 30 days trial uh, page you will get uh, your, your login page, you get your password credentials, you can set up a new password and so forth. And then you are ending up here. So that's the interface of the Tricentis test automation. As you can see, it's, it's the dashboard, it's so-called dashboard. And the really cool thing about it is that you can start from here to, to do whatever you would like to do with uh, Tricentis test automation. So for example, you get uh, an idea what you can do so in order to get all done in Tresendis test automation, you can basically, if you would like to, go through all these steps here and then you are good to go. As you can see, there's something called launcher. We will come to that in a second. Uh, you can go also straight to the test case section and so forth. Also, the nice thing about it is that you um, get um, tutorials that explain this feature uh, in a separate, um, in a separate um, Tresendis Academy where you can actually watch a YouTube video where uh, exactly it's described how to create a test case, how to edit them, or how to simulate a service. But before di we dive into the, this, uh, all the sections, I will give you a quick overview on the things that you can do with Tresendis test automation. So the first thing that we just talked about is the home. The second is test cases, then we have the builder, we have simulations, we have playlists, agents, simulators, and runs. And we, I will now do like a quick demo with you to show you what all the features that I'm going on, that this feature is all about. So let's take a look at the test cases. So we can either click here or here. So we just click here and then we jump straight into the builder mode because the builder is basically the, the central component of the Tresentis test automation. Yeah, And um, one thing that you have to do um, before you actually um, um, can start with with Transcendence test automation is you have to download the uh, the launcher. So if you click on the top right corner, there's this download button here, and it says uh, in la launcher install. This is what you need in order to actually um, do upfront. If you don't click on that button here and you say okay, let's create a new module, you you have to click on this new module button. It says okay, how to create or how to scan modules actually. And there it says, okay, download launcher or start a launcher. So in case you haven't installed this launcher, you can download it from here and then later on start it right away. And the cool thing about the launcher is basically it's a one-click solution for you. You don't have to do anything. You don't need to configure your system. You click download the launcher. And if the launcher is getting executed, the launcher is making sure that all the dependencies that you need in order to scan your application is being fetched from the Tresentis backend and is unpacking all the, the, the services that you need and then it's installing them for you and you can write you can use the launcher right at your fingertip and the longest thing that that that, that takes here or like is the, the part is the is the downloading of the launcher in the beginning and then also the the um, resolving of the dependencies and this also de depends on your internet connection so if you have a slow internet connection it takes a few more like minutes late more than if you, in case you have a fast connection so I already downloaded the launcher, installed it on that machine, and now we are clicking on start the launcher. So it says, okay, we are now opening the launcher. Yes, as you can see here, it's, it's starting, and it's now starting the so-called X-Scan functionality of Tresentis test automation. Um, so this, this takes a second until the launcher has been started. As you can see, there's some, some window below, and there you go, now we have the launcher up and running and the X-Scan, um, the X scan up and running. And now the thing that you have to do is you have to select the web application that you would like to test. 
And also one more thing that I forgot just to mention is that you need to install the, uh, the browser extension. It's called uh, Tosca Automation Extension in order to actually um, gather the information from your web application. And in case you haven't done this, you, you will also guide it. You will, gu you will be guided through that process as well um, with from Telecenter's test automation. So no need to worry. You don't need to search online where to find this extension. You will be guided, which is really cool. So then what you have to do is you have to select the tab that you would like to test. So in, in this case, I will just re or like open my, my blog, Adventures in QA, for those of you who don't know it. And we open up the launcher again. And you can see here, the, uh, the X can already recognize. This is giving you a little preview um, of the application. And then just uh, click scan. And for those of you who worked already with Tresentis Tosca, this should be like a familiar screen. So I used now the, uh, the condensed view. Uh, we could also use the advanced view of the scanning capabilities here. And as you can see here, we have all the elements that you can interact with or verify with uh, in one screen. So you can either say, okay, I would like to have everything. So you just click all the, all, all the elements here. Or if you use the basic variant, which is this one, you, you can go here and then you can just tap on the elements. So let's we click on home. So you can see here it's recognizing the link. You can click on the publications on the YouTube channel about me and so forth and so forth. And then you have basically you have the, the header menu recorded. And then we say, okay, let's finish that screen, saving all the components. And now you can go back to the builder. It says, okay, modules have been synced. You can close that window. And then you can find the previously scanned modules in the builder and the scanned module section. And they will up. Here we are clicking them. Oh, we can just do like this drag and drop over here. Then we can open it up and we see what we have just recorded. We have recorded the, the home link and so forth and so forth. Since my, my blog has a really long title, uh, I would recommend to actually go here and say, add, oops, edit properties. And you can just go here and say um, navigation. Given a speaking name, you can also add some more descriptions here. And you can say, okay, it's identified by the title and that's the value actually. And then you could also a screenshot uh, of the thing that, that the Tresentis was able to record. Then you can go back and you see here in the scan things, there is a, an element called navigation. So that's the cool thing. So now if you would like to build actually your test cases, what you can do is here, you can either use your just uh, newly created modules and the cool thing is you have you can also use shared actions. So in case you have already a, like a collaboration setup with other team members or colleagues, you can use shared actions. So when, whenever you have uh, recorded something, you can also share it, make it public to others, to teammates. And um, Transcendence Test Automation is also offering um, predefined actions, and that's pretty cool. There are a couple of predefined actions, so common things that you can that you can reuse um, among your browser application. And for example, we say, okay, we take the first one, which is open URL. Then we go here and then we say, okay, we would like to open um, my blog. So this is now how you can write basically the test. So it says, okay, we just um, um, save this one or we just leave it. And that, that's the first step that you can do in for your test. And then let's say, okay, we go to uh, we go to the navigation. So we drop this as well here. We see here there's the navigation and we say, okay, we can do the actions like click on it uh, or input something or verify. So let's say, okay, verify value equals um, home and so forth. So you, you got what, what I have in mind, right? So you can just verify, you can click on the elements. Yeah. Um, what else is, I think I also uh, scanned this search before. So I, I changed, didn't change the, the inputs are like the description here. So we can say, okay, we verify the type search and say, okay, it's called search. Let's see, I haven't tried this before. And we can also say, uh, no, that's not the verify. Let's do an input. Let's say mobile testing. We search for that one. Then we have the action type. We click on it uh, because that's the button. So we click on the button with the cursor and say, okay, 
fine. We can then, well, once you have decided, okay, this is like my very first test case that I would like to execute, you can click on the run privately button. You can also save it uh, as you like. So let's say, let's run it. And for the run, you need actually the, 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 um, the, the launcher again. As I said, it's, it's written down here. In case you have the launch already, uh, you are good to go. So let's start the launcher again. So it's starting the launcher. It's now starting an agent. So an agent is something that is basically there for, for driving the, um, the browser, yeah, so to say. So it says here, it's now running. We can put this over here. So we start launcher again. So it's this uh, agent is already running. Press any key to continue. And then it's idle. Okay, I think I missed something. Try to run in case again, it runs automatically. Okay, let's do this again. Uh, you can save it. We say run privately. And uh, now it's working. Uh, that was my mistake. Then you see, okay, follow up uh, what's what's going to happen with the auto, uh, with the execution. And now the agent basically is executing the test that I just implemented. So you see, it's opened my website. It entered mobile testing. It's clicking the search and we have the search result page. So this worked out quite well, right? So e as, e as easy as it is, as you have seen in the example. Uh, you can also take a look at the launcher here. The cool thing is, or no, or no it, that's the agent actually, to see actually you get some logs. So you see what has happened, uh, like execution, you see what the test case was ha what it was doing and so forth. So this is also cool to for, for debugging purposes in case you have, an, you have a bug or you have an issue in your, in your test scripts. So that's basically the builder component. So it's fairly easy. You can also give that, of course, you should give it a, a name. And then you can, as I said here, in this corner here, you can save it, you can create new, and you can also share it later on with others. Yeah. Um, so what else do we have in Tresentis test automation is we have the simulations tab. And for simulations, this is something that you can use in order to mock services like APIs or backend services, cloud services that don't you, that you don't want to use on, on a production system because this causes costs. And with that, you can create a simulation file and then also upload simulation files in order to, to mock your API or your cloud instances. But nothing for this video. Maybe I'll do an upcoming video on that topic as well. Uh, we have this playlist section. It sounds uh, sounds like uh, like music music playing, right? And playlist is, is something that you uh, you can do in order to yeah you can you can combine the test cases that you just uh, recorded not recorded but built, and then you can create a, a playlist of test cases and you can execute them again uh, from a CI system or from within this over interface here. Um, the next topic is the agents. An agent, as I said, is basically the thing that is running on my machine, and this is then driving the the browser. You can see here which platform, which the what what is the agent version. Uh, you can also install this agent um, on different in interfaces, uh, not on interfaces, but on different computers, different servers, where you have different browser versions, and you can build up your own uh, your own cloud browser based application system. Uh, and then you can use this as a as a shared agent. You connect it to your Tresentis test automation interface, and then you can decide, okay, on which agent my test should should be executed and not. That's also cool. Uh, you also have the simulators um, that you can use in order to yeah host your virtual services and to run API calls. Also, nothing for this video because otherwise it's getting too complex for today. And last but not least, which I think is really cool, is the run section. And here you can see like the executed test cases. I mean, in my case, I just gave them a non-speaking test case name. It's just unnamed test case. But in case you give the uh, like speaking um, names of the test case, you can see the type. You can also identify the results and you see the progress. Oh, it succeeded. Oh, it's failed. It was triggered. Uh, uh, this is the timestamp basically. And the nice thing about it is, so in case we click on this one, you get some details. Like again, where, when it was triggered, the duration time, and you can click here as well, and you get some details. Now you get the all the logs that that is coming from the agent. Uh, a cool thing is you get a recording. Of course, in a, in in a, in, a, in a positive case, there is no recording, and I think also no attachment. There are some attachments. So let's take a look at a uh, at a failed run. So we take this one, and we click it again. 
we see some um, of the results. So we see okay, here, uh, we expected, and this was the correct result. So the verification was, was successful, but there was, oh, okay, in another test case, I was searching for publications, but there was more than one uh, control called publication. So that was my mistake, actually. The cool thing is we also get a recording. So in case we just would like to see what, what happened while the test got executed, we have a video here uh, that we can just re-watch, re, uh, re replay, also share within a, within a ticket system to, uh, to reuse within the development team, which I think is cool. And also, said, as I said, you get res uh, the attachments, which is recording and the logs and everything in one place. And that's I think that's pretty cool and it's pretty handy. Yeah. And, and that that's that was actually the Tracentis test automation um, update or release, the new release. So it's something it's something new for for Tracentis to not use the uh, like standalone application Tosca, but now finally bringing the test automation capabilities from Tosca into a cloud-based application low code system, which I think is really cool because it's it saves a lot of time in terms of installation. It's easy to share your test cases, your modules with other teammates. And uh, you can also invite other people from your organization to work um, in a collaborative mode on the modules. You, share, you can share the modules among um, all the, the people in the team. And I think that that is something pretty cool. Um, in case you work with Tosca or you're working with Tosca in your environment or you're planning to search for new test automation solution for your web application, I highly recommend you to take a look at Tresentis Test Automation, or in short, TTA, because I think it's a really easy to use, really easy to learn application. It took me just a couple of minutes until I got like what the, the, the product is all about, how to use it, and I was really, really quick in creating modules and scanning things and using the launch and age and so. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, if you like it, uh, let me know. What do you think about Tresentis Test Automation? Uh, leave it down in the comment section. If you like the video, as always, uh, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. I, I'm happy to read all your comments, your feedback on the videos and also on the products. And leave a subscription to support me. And I wish you all a great day. Goodbye.